Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add water droplets to your photos in Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so I got this leaf photo right here and I just want to create it a, a little water droplet photo here and I want to make it look as realistic as possible to make it look like it just rained and there's a couple little water droplets on this leaf here. And so it's going to be really easy to do. There's only a couple little steps that you need to follow. So the first step I'm going to do is create a brand new layer right here. I'm just click, uh, click right there and create a brand new layer, empty layer. I'm going to get my elliptical marquee tool up here and I'm going to draw a, uh, a perfectly round circle. And to do this, I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and I'm going to pull out and you can see that it uh, does a perfect circle here. So if I don't hold shift, I get kind of an oblong photo, like a, a little oval right there. But I'm going to hold shift and I uh, have my elliptical marquee tool with a perfectly round circle. All right, so now I'm going to get a, a gradient tool. So I'm going to go over here and click the gradient tool. And I'm going to make sure I have the uh, third option here on the default gradients. And that is the black on the top and the white on the bottom. So I'm going to click that one right there. And now all I'm going to do is draw a uh, gradient over this, uh, this little circle right here. And to do that, I'm going to draw it at a perfect 45 degree angle. And I'm, again, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click right around here, right around the outside. And I'm going to pull it into right around there. And as you can see, I got a little bit of darkness over here, but majority of it is actually white. And that's kind of what I'm wanting there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and deselect this. I'm going to hit Command or Control D. And so now I have this uh, this perfectly round uh, gradient circle here. And that's this is the basic of the, uh, of the rain droplet. And so on my blending modes, I'm going to use uh, two different ones. I can, I, you, you decide what's better looking for your particular photo because uh, these interact with the photo a little bit differently. So we have overlay here, which kind of gives it a more harsh, uh, harsh, bright water droplet, or we have a soft light, which kind of gives it like a milky water droplet. Uh, right now I'm going to start off with overlay just to see what it does. And so now I need to apply some layer styles to this here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on my layer and I get a uh, layer style dialog box. And there's only two that I'm gonna concentrate on. The first one is gonna be a drop shadow. So I'm gonna go down here at the bottom and uh, my values, I'm just gonna put in some of these default values here. You can play with them uh, because they're gonna, they're gonna be varied depending on which photo and what the size of your photo you're working with. And so I'm just gonna do around the opacity. I'm gonna do it fairly low. Uh, actually, I might bump it up just to see what happens here. So let's do around 30. Uh, for my distance, I'm going to do around uh, 22, 20, somewhere around there. Spread is zero, and size is around, I'm going to do around 45. Let's do 46. And uh, make sure my global light is turned off. And uh, you see where the uh, the black part is here and the white part is here? I want to make it try to match the, uh, the angle that I pulled the gradient. So right around there, that's going to work out pretty good. So now I'm going to go into my inner shadow. And my values again are going to change depending on the the different photo that you're using, but I'm going to do uh, probably around 40 for the opacity. Uh, distance is going to be around 20 to 23. Uh, choke, uh, I'm going to be roughly around 13, and uh, my size, I'm going to probably keep it right around 55. Let's do 54 right there, just to make it make it simple. Again, and my uh, over my uh, you, you global light is off, and I can play around with the angle here if I want to. I'm going to go ahead and keep it the way it was, right around there, and I'm going to click OK. So there's our water droplet. We're missing one small thing. We're missing a tiny highlight over here to make it look like a real water droplet. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Um, I'm actually I'm going to keep it on this particular layer. I'm going to get my brush here, and I'm going to get a fairly small brush and make sure my hardness is right around 75, 80 between there. And I'm gonna do one small click right here in the top. So right here, and there's our highlight. That's all it's gonna be. And so now I have this, this one layer here, and now if I wanna duplicate water droplets, all I have to do is hold Alt or Option, click and pull, and now I have a second water droplet. And now I can do Command or Control T, and I can size it to be a different size here and just place it anywhere I want to. Do the same thing with another wa water droplet. Let's go over here and make it a little bit larger and just pull it around here. So there we go, we got water droplets on this one. Now let's, just to make it fun, we're gonna do another one, but we're gonna warp this one a little bit. So I'm gonna bring it right over here, make it one a little larger. Uh, let's pull it right there. 
And now I'm gonna go into the filter, liquify. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the liquify tool, it's this is gonna be very simple. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is get this top option here, which is the forward warp tool. And now my, uh, my cursor here is, I wanna make it fairly large, uh, probably roughly around the same size as the actual dot, uh, but maybe just a tiny bit smaller. And all I'm gonna do is click and drag, and you can see it start warping. It's gonna liquefy it a little bit. So I'm gonna do it right around there. And that's it, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click okay now. And you can see the effect it gives. It looks like the water droplet's kind of running off. Uh, so now you t where we were talking about where you can do different layer styles here, or layer blending modes. I'm gonna click all of these and now I'm gonna choose soft light to see what that looks like. So you can see it's a little bit more milky, a little bit subdued. Uh, so you can try that one if you wanted to. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it uh, overlay just to make it a little punchy play with the uh, fill will allow you to play with the actual layer style effect. If you do the opacity, uh, you're actually going to disappear. The, the water droplet is going to disappear. So if you want to play with the actual layer style effect, make sure you use fill and that will kind of back it down a little bit. So there you can see I'm going to keep mine right around 90. So not as intense. So I'm going to do 90. And so there we go. We have our water droplets. And now I can feel free to choose any one of these, move them around. Uh, and that's what makes it kind of cool about this. Each individual layer is one water droplet and you can move it anywhere you want to. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to make water droplets in Photoshop. Thank you for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll see you in the next video.